Hello everyone, here we are again. So, we're already on our third part of our Learn to Knit. Today we're gonna do one knit, one pearl ribbing. So, to do the edging on a sweater, for example. Okay. I know most magazines and patterns tell you uh, you have to start or end and end with a slip stitch and stuff like that but I'll tell you all about that in future for now we are not going to worry about slipping stitches and knitting stitches from the back and all that because it'll get too confusing so we start with a plain knit stitch like we've seen in the first and the second video actually we put our yarn in, in front of our needle and we do a pearl stitch we put our yarn in the back and we do a, a knit stitch yarn in the front a pearl back knit and this is an easy way to remember when you're knitting just knit stitch you always leave your yarn in the back when you're purling your yarn should be in front always and there's different kinds of edging of course but I'll be showing you a few different stitches in the future we do a knit stitch and we end with a pearl and always remember when you're doing a, a ribbing like this when you're ending with a pearl you start with a knit a knit yarn in front a pearl yarn back and that yarn in front a pearl and the back and that and the front a pearl and that in the back yarn in front a pearl yarn in the back and that Yarn in the front, a pearl, a knit, and we start, we end, sorry, with a pearl. So remember that, you end with a pearl, you start with a knit. You always start with the opposite of which you ended with. And this is smooth knitting. And we end with a pearl. And we keep going like this if you're Knitting a sweater, for example, you could say about 5 centimeters of ribbing is a good size. I made 10 centimeters on my sweater, but that was because I was going to knit a big collar on as well, and I didn't want the contrast to be too big. But we'll see all about that in future. What we're also going to be seeing is how to knit on a circular needle, needle sorry, like this. We're going to learn to knit with a magic loop. So you can knit like sleeves and small circles with a circular needle 
instead of like in the old days with four or five separate needles which was a bit of a hassle but that's the way I learned in the past when I was young okay so this is our ribby next time we'll be doing the two net two pearl like these and then we'll be going on to the moss stitch it all comes down to net and pearl but the view is very much different okay I hope you can enjoy practicing this you can make a, a small scarf like this with all the different stitches give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying my videos and I'll be seeing you next time okay for now bye bye